Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Gar's Wee Beasties, and today I am here to give you the answers to the questions that I posed to you in the last video, which you all very kindly left an answer to. Now, the first one is we're going to do a time lapse of this build over here, but we're going to do it in a, a different way. We're going to time lapse the actual building of the exterior, but I'm going to try and show you the building of the interior because it's nice to basically let you guys see the inner workings of the rat burger factory thingy majigger that'll basically make me rat burgers and what i'll do in a bit is pop over to my single player world to show you the design that i've come up with for that because that's what i like to do i like to basically play around in my single player world you know what's interesting when i look over in this direction my fps drops yeah whatever Already, you probably get a hint for where it's going to go because of this thing over here, and that is option two, because that was the most popular. And I think, less importantly, but pretty important, we're going to go for the Galapagos Islands as this sort of thing. And you can see that I've built a bit of a bridge here. I'm not even sure I like that so much, so we might be playing around with that. I don't know. I'm not 100% certain it's going to stay. It's a bit simple. Even, even I know cobblestone is never going to be the final sign. But it's a bit simple anyway, so... Yeah, we'll have a think about it, but right now, I'm going to pop over to my single player world to show you the design. Okay guys, so what we've got here is basically my simple design for the rat burger type factory. Uh, it's sort of in three components. The first bit is the sort of the rat spawning component. The next bit down is just the kill area because I'm going to kill them with, with, uh, with height. Uh, this bit basically just collects them, and this bit down here is, well, well, let's go up to the start and do it from here. So, at the top, we have got the power for the spawning mechanism. Now, these are just, I think they're just regular solar panels, which seem to be actually quite enough. So, that's a good thing, because we only need nine of them, and the recipe for this is pretty simple. So, I think we can get onto that this episode. So, that's pretty good. So, we need nine solar panels, I think, for this recipe. We're going to come down, and we're going to look at what we need to actually spawn these things, and that is an auto-spawner with one of our safari nets of a rat. And as you can see, it spawns rats at a reasonable pace. It's not too fast, I'm not going to lie. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we'll probably have like a... Um, this is concrete, by the way, or uh, whatchamacallit, it, basically covering up the glass fire cable, because the one problem I was having was that uh, I was getting rats spawning on top of this, on top of the little glass fiber, so just using this makes them not be able to spawn. So, they come down here and they always die when they fall on these things, which are transposers. Now, I could have obsidian pipes, I'm not really sure, you saw an example of it there, <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. Um, well, I don't know, transposers or uh, obsidian pipes, doesn't really make too much of a difference for me. Uh, the area I've worked out for this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 49, which is 49 pistons which is quite a lot. Look at this shape of this. See, what I've done here, guys, is I've turned it into... It's, what I've done is it's a desert world, and I've changed it from sandstone to uh, marble, just because I prefer the look, but it's still a desert biome, uh, which means we get tons of fucking scorpions everywhere, <laughs> and ogres that we've got turned off in the multiplayer, but not in my single player. Anyway, let's move down. So, all of these guys get sucked into these redstone tubes, and I might use panels or something to make this a bit more refined but yeah what we've got is the same solar panels are also coming down here into this mfe uh, can we turn this day again please or is it raining or some shit I think it's raining apparently i don't have the rain texture that's weird are we getting any sound <laughs> so yeah we've got it coming down here uh the mfe is then doing this uh i think it's just a bat box or something no, it's a uh, transformer, it's because I'm just powering the electric furnace. I did try burning the rats, and whenever you kill a burning pig, it drops cooked pork chop. But unfortunately, the same is not true for the Moo Creatures mobs, or at least it's certainly not true for the rats. So we've got this electric furnace here, and we've got a fabricator underneath it. Now, what the fabricator is doing is basically saying... The fabricator can craft recipes that you put in here and that you paint into it with NEI. So I've painted the rat burger recipe in here and what it's basically doing is taking the cooked rats out of the electric furnace as soon as they've been cooked. See, they pop down in here. Now, oh shut up wolf, god's sake. What they do then is the this fabricator uh, is also needs to get for uh, also needs a source of bread. 
pumpkin seeds and regular seeds. Now, regular seeds and pumpkin seeds are something I have quite a bit of. You can see I've got quite a bit of pumpkin seeds in this. Um, oh, all the ch all the rats going in there. That's weird. I think I just put it in there to boost it. Maybe I think that's what I did. Not really sure. Let's get some regular seeds in here as well. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, there we go. Let's get some of these in here just in case this uh, needs them. Yeah. Now, this fabricator is then taking... Uh, yeah, it's taking the wheat because I've basically realised that I'm only ever going to give it a source of... You know... Uh, I need the, the what I've got renewable right now is the cooked rats, but I also need renewable forms of bread and pumpkin seeds and seeds. Now, I've got quite a lot of seeds at the moment, but I am definitely going to have to work out a way of renewing both the pumpkin seeds and the bread and the seeds eventually. The wheat and the seeds can come from the one source. I'm basically looking into both this oh shit. Well, that the farm and the pumpkin farm is basically what I'm looking into at the moment, but. We'll work on that when it comes to it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So what happens then is that this emerald pipe is filtered for rat burgers. And this engine is pumping rat burgers out into this. And what you do is you get a pouch. I think it's an ender pouch, it's called. And it's just blank. And then you shift click on that. And then it's, as you can see down there in the uh, it's gray, uh, dark gray, light gray, dark gray in the tooltip. And the, you know, down there where I'm sort of fiddling around with it. Uh, same as that. So when I come over here, I get my rat burgers and you can see the uh, you can see in the corner there the chest opens and closes as I uh, open this, which is pretty cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a source of rat burgers always in my ender pouch. And I don't know what colour I'll go for. I just went for dark grey, light grey, dark grey there. So yeah it's working pretty well. Uh, it's definitely gonna work well up until a point I need a renewable source of bread. But I think you know rat burgers are pretty cool source of food. Let's see if I can eat one now. I might be too not hungry enough. Yeah, I'm not hungry enough. That's a shame. Would have been nice to show you guys. But yeah, that's basically the design. So we're going to try and work on that now. So I'm trying to make a mental note of what I need. Nine solar panels, a shit ton of electric fiber cables, uh, some MFEs and MFSUs and stuff. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. Um, and we'll get on to that. Alright, see you back in my multiplayer world, guys. Okie dokie, so let's get on this right now. Let's go into our very rough ore processing area right now and let's see if we can make ourselves some solar panels. So, I can't remember the recipe as usual. I know I need coal dust. I need nine of these. So that's going to be three times nine is 27 coal dust. Okay. Oh my god. My inventory is so disorganized. It's unbelievable. Um, wow. I cannot wait to get an advanced, uh, what's it called? Applied Energistics? Yeah, one of those bad boy setups would be amazing. So I can just go into a terminal and type coal dust. Oof, oof, I tell you that would be fun. Uh, well, let's get this stuff out of the way. Uh, let's get, no, stop, 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 stop. Awesome. Could have sworn I had some coal dust somewhere though. Could have sworn. No, no coal dust, no coal dust. No coal dust. Oh, there was a solar panel though. There was one solar panel. So I only need eight, which is awesome, which is three times eight is 24 uh, of coal dust. Wow, that's going to be a long time. What else do I need? I need some electronic circuits uh, and some generators. I might just harvest some of the generators from the wall back here. Yeah. I think I can just mine them. Uh, I think. Uh, so I need eight. So one. Let's see. One. Did I just get a machine block? No, I've got a generator. There we go. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take the nine one just for the just for even sake. And also these cables. Am I just absolutely destroying everything else though? No, it seems like I just made one mistake, which is awesome. We can put these back in oh, come on. Ah. That needs painted. Have I got my bag on me? I think I do. It needs to be blue. And I think I do indeed have my blue painter here. Awesome socks. Ah, uh, it pays to be handy. The reason there's no durability on these guys is because I, I lost it in a bug, so I decided to just spawn myself them back in. I hope you guys don't mind too much about that sort of stuff. It just, it drives me nuts whenever, like, we were bug hunting, lag hunting, and I, I teleported underground, and, uh, 
yeah, it was just like, what's going on? And I died, so I was really annoyed about that. But, you know, that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. Where's my diamonds? I think I've got them all back in the main storage area. Oh my god, I'm so, so, so unorganized right now. I need... Oh, how many of these? I need 16 of these bad boys. There's gonna be a lot of copper. A lot of copper. Got some copper. Ooh, there's some coal dust. And there's some of these. Let's see if I can get some copper. Oh, go away. Let's see if I can. We've got some copper dust in here, don't we? So if I start smelting this up, then. Come on, there we go. Last reading is going reasonably well. Reasonably well. Let's put that in there. Machine blocks, let's put the uh, generators in there. I've got plenty of uh, rubber, which is good. Let's put that down there for the time being. Let's see if we can get some of this copper out. There we go. Is that going to stack? No, but I think it's okay. I think I can still use it in the, uh, in the recipe, I think. It's obviously the wrong way around. <laughs> Insulate rubber with copper? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Uh, can I just put these in here somewhere, please, maybe? Just no, obviously not. <laughs> uh, we go with this. There we go. Let's keep that in there, just as a way of uh, keeping the recipe in, and we get some more copper. I'm gonna need a shit ton of copper and copper wire in general. Ah, the problems with uh, crafting crap like this. Uh, I think I can get more. There we go. Then that would take it out, obviously. Uh, let me work this out. So. 16 of those is going to require 16 times 6, which is 60. 6 times 6 is the 96. Okay, so that's like a stack and a half-ish. Right. Okie dokie, I'm going to have to be back later. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, let's throw that copper in there. How is this coming along? Slowly. Really slowly. If I got an overclocker somewhere, an extra one, I've got one in there. Let's throw this overclocker in here uh, because this is coming along at a reasonable piece, pace. We don't really need too much else. Have I got anything like sitting in these things? I hate Greg Tech. I cannot stand Greg Tech for the life of me. I'm going to go see if I have any more copper anywhere. I'm sorry for all of this dose organization. I know it's going to annoy the shit out of a lot of people, but there's not much I can do about it right now. Um, I'm trying to keep you guys in on everything that I'm doing so whilst I'm so tempted to just like go off camera and like um, doing an entire applied energetic sorting system I'm trying my best not to which I know might sound a bit weird but because basically because I want to show you guys what it's gonna be like I don't need more iron so I'm gonna put this iron well I do need more iron but I don't need it right now so I'm going to put that iron there, got to take this coal dust out, take these out, and get to work on uh, this. Uh, we're, oh, damn it, that was stupid. Uh, Alright, let's put this in there. Uh, we can get some more copper in there. Okay, well, we're, we're almost there, we're almost there. I, what else do I need? Let's think ahead. So we've got the glass, I think we've got the glass somewhere. We need 16 pieces of find iron we need more redstone I've got redstone somewhere don't I here we go um, let's take this out and this out and you know what even these things can be taken out I'm gonna put them in here for the time being uh, just because it's sort of generally related to that sort of stuff uh, let's put them in there even though they can't be used in recipes and then why not uh, actually that should have been in there oh whatever uh, where are we going we've got to get some refined iron uh, let's get the iron in our inventory and start smelting it soon. Ooh, crafty, crafty, crafty. So, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, one of the projects that has been part of the reason why I haven't been around as often. And that is basically... Can I take this out? I think I can take this out. Yeah, awesome. That has basically been on the go for a while now, and it's a song. It's a it's a parody song, which I know probably will annoy some people, but it's not like a Minecraft parody song per se. I, do, I don't like doing Minecraft parody songs that are basically just like, ooh, look what it's like to play Minecraft in a song. It's not really, ooh, wow, check out the new, s wow, that looks nice. Is that, is that the, uh, 
Is that the, um, whatchamacallit one then? Um, sorry, uses is what I want, isn't it? Is this the applied energistics one? Yes, that looks really nice. Wow. Oh, there you go then. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, the song. So, it's, it's, uh, people who've, like, follow my, on my vlogs and stuff will know that I'm doing, that I'm a big, well, not, not, like, a huge fan, but I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the Yogscast. What's that now? 90, that's 100, that's fine, that's all we need. Let's start smelting some refined iron. And, uh, basically, I'm really pumped about the return of the Shadow of Israfel. Uh, if it is returning, I think it is. I couldn't say for sure, but I've got a feeling it is, basically. And, uh... Yeah, I'm kind of want to do an homage to that, and uh, that's what the song's about, basically. So I've been working pretty hard with uh, Cubby, uh, who I'm sure a lot of you will know because he does the music for um, my uh, uh, my um, songs, uh, my outro music and my intro music and stuff like that there. And he's a really, really cool guy, like outrageously cool, and. Yeah, he's doing he's doing my um, intro music, and he's been working on me with the with this parody song as well, and it's been really really awesome. I'm really excited about it. So yeah, I hope you guys will like it. Uh, I certainly am very excited about it. It'll be my first sort of project that's not just a let's play on my channel, and I've never wanted to just be a simple let's play channel. So yeah I'm really excited about that um, because if anything I'd actually quite like to do more of them and not be exclusively doing them because I know you guys like Let's Plays um, and Let's Plays are a, a really cool new medium really to be honest but uh, you know like it's not just what I want to do I like to create stuff and make stuff and and part of that will be um, will be doing videos and doing uh, songs and doing animations and, and all that stuff and uh, you've probably got a hint from my increasing love of animations uh, through simple things like um, seeing uh, my intro song and stuff like that there, uh, not my intro song, my intro animation for this series for example and uh, the what else can I talk about? Like the, uh, the the outro animation that I've got going on at the moment. You know, the little dancing dude. I know a lot of you people love that. So yeah, I'm just basically trying to you know diversify and uh, enjoy myself. And I hope you guys appreciate that. And uh, uh, it means that occasionally I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break from simple. Oh, that sounds derogatory. From standard let's play videos because it's difficult to get. Um, how many of these do I need? Uh, 1, 2, 8, 16. One, is that right? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, oh, feck. I knew that was going to happen. Don't tell me I've run out of cable already. No, I just stupidly put that down there. That's what it is, isn't it? That's the recipe. Yeah. Um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 1, 2. Awesome. Just counted that more or less right. Okie dokie. So, okie dokie, pickly pokey. So it means sometimes that, you know, I'm not going to be able to do, um... Oh, thank God. I'm not going to be able to do, um, daily videos. I'm sorry about that, but it's kind of just, uh... It's just kind of the way of it, the way it is, really, because it's very difficult to do both, you know? Very difficult to do both the daily videos and the, um... And work on projects like this, because they take a lot more time than your daily videos do, typically, so... You've got it's about it's a, it's about a balance between everything really. So, what I've got to do now is go craft the beginnings of this rat machine basically, and I'll be back with you once I've got something cool to show you. <laughs> 